A lot of you worldly people out there already know that sometimes the most evil things hide in plain sight. For example, the ridiculous in-app purchase energy system in the new Harry Potter iOS game. Not that I would know anything about that. But also, the beloved pentatonic scale has evil deep within, and it is a mode that shall not be named yet. But we're gonna start on the fourth position of the pentatonic scale, we're gonna talk about how it's evil and how it's tricking you right after we learn it, okay? So we're doing this in the people's key, the key of G, also known as E minor, pentatonic, if you watch the other videos. And we're gonna start on the B note right here. Okay, so seventh fret on the low E string. At first glance, this looks a lot like just the regular minor pentatonic. If you go through the frets, it's gonna be E string, seven, 10, A string, seven, 10, D string, seven, nine, G string, seven, nine, B string, eight, 10, E string, seven, 10. So we've got. Okay, super similar to pentatonic position one, which a lot of people will learn first, which B minor pentatonic one would look like this. Four looks like this. Okay, so really not that different. Now where the evil is actually hidden is the Phrygian mode. The thing to remember about these pentatonic scales is they're really like the major minor scale, but with a couple notes less. So a full major scale has seven notes, pentatonic scale has five notes. They, we removed two of those notes for safety purposes in the pentatonic scale. What happens to be prevalent in B's position in the key of G, or E minor, is we took away the C note in the scale, okay? So, for instance, here's B pentatonic, pentatonic position four. Here's B minor. And here's B Phrygian. So if you want to get into modes, this is where like the modes kind of come in. But I think one thing to do is just add one note to this pentatonic position because this note is in the key of G and it's a very important note in that key. This is a C, okay? B, C. This is also called a minor second interval where you just go one fret higher, okay? So the reason this is important is because once you start adding these over chords, they uh, kind of take a little bit of a flavor to them, okay? At first glance, like I said, it's really very minor pentatonic in nature because it looks almost exactly like the minor pentatonic scale with just a little bit of difference, right? Like, uh, for instance, here's B minor one more time. 710, 7979, okay? Okay? Super bluesy sounding. Now here's the pentatonic position four. The only difference is instead of a two fret space, there's a three fret space right there. Any licks that you learn in minor pentatonic, you can use them on a B in the key of E minor or an E in the key of E minor, G major. Same difference, right? But once you add that minor second, things get dodgy super, super quick, right? Okay, so if we have a progression in the key of E minor from stuff we've done so far, let's make it kind of basic. Let's make just like E minor to G major to B minor twice okay so you know this isn't like the bluesiest sounding progression yet but there's already something different about that b minor because the tonal center has shifted into this dodginess this evil b to c okay that interval is something i really want you to kind of like remember and work on even though it's not technically part of the pentatonic scale it's hiding and the only way to really face true evil is to call it out of hiding and shine a light on it, which is exactly what we're doing right here, okay? So, E minor, G major, B minor. Now, if you were to kind of play over that, you can do any of the scales that we've learned in this video so far. You can jump right into the E minor pentatonic, which again, that's just the E shape, the first shape we learned here, okay? And you can do that over any one of these chords. We can do major pentatonic here. And then maybe for the B, we can still jump into B minor pentatonic position four. But what I think I want to start having you challenge yourself to do is to add that minor second into it too. So B minor. Okay, there it is, there's the B. There's that note that we've omitted from the scale. We're gonna add that into the pentatonic scale.
scale that we did before, okay? I think another really cool thing to maybe view this differently is the previous video that we had in the series, which I will link you to if you haven't seen that. It's talking about the third position, which I think is a really kind of eye-opening thing and how the pentatonic scale works with chords. And again, that third position, if you remember, was just we start on the A note, the fifth fret, and it's symmetrical, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, and then a D major chord, rooted, or a D major shape, rooted on the eighth fret of the B string, which is a G, right? Which is why it sounds so fitting, because again, we're in the key of G, where the home chord is, okay? Now again, we can take this, and if you've played a lot of D major chords, like I know that you have, you've probably, in fact, let's go back to a regular D major position. D suspended four is probably one of the first things that maybe you do as far as inflecting a chord. It's in so many different songs, right? Where you just take your pinky and you add it to the fret higher. Well, in this position, if we keep going through here and then add that D chord there, what is this? It's that suspended, which technically wouldn't be in this, this scale, but because we have that minor second over that B note, we can start adding it there too. So that is an example where it doesn't really sound very evil because our tonal center has changed. But if we're really hammering on a B note, a B minor chord, you get a little bit of that nastiness, right? You can do it here, you can do it an octave up. That would be like. And then you can do all your regular minor, or minor pentatonic stuff on top of that. This is kind of an introduction to an extra note that you can add to a scale to kind of like add a certain flavor to it. It doesn't even have to be this note, just get, a, just get experimental and try whatever notes you want. But this sound, something that you'll recognize more because it is kind of jarring the sound of a minor second interval it's something that is pretty easily recognizable and again this is still a series on pentatonic so if you want to maybe take some of the the minor pentatonicness of this shape let's focus in on just maybe the d and g strings seven nine seven nine we can just play them you know as hammer rounds we can double stop through them any way we want to add it to it, like that B minor chord. Okay, there's a B minor chord. I'm gonna take my pinky, go one fret higher on the D string to kind of give us the evil sounding interval. And then I'm gonna get back into pentatonic land to kind of make it seem like everything is okay. But under the surface, things have never been worse. So, like I said, it's up to us to shine a light on some of this evil through education and just hard rocking. And I think Pentatonic System 4 is a great way to start looking at things in that way. So definitely, if you have any uh, questions or comments, hit me up in the comment section, Instagram, Twitter, or the website. And also check out uh, the merch store, Salty Blues Roadhouse t-shirts, etc. I'm probably gonna do a video on that maybe in the next couple days or so. But, uh, Check it out. Uh, let me know what you think, guys. And until then, I'll see you in the next video.